Now that the creators of Solar Opposites have explained their approach to recasting Justin Roiland, this has only made things worse for Rick and Morty. Would you stop playing Pupa Shot? He's not an arcade game for f sake. While Solar Opposites recast Roiland's Corvo, Dan Stevens is the last actor that longtime viewers of the series would have expected to take over the role. Yeah, but nobody's gonna notice. <laughs> Stevens has a recognizably posh British voice that he leans into his performance as Corvo, thus completely changing the character's persona. Let me say, he's fine. Wait, where is he? Gah, he's dead! He was just sleeping. Forgot how he looks super ugly when he sleeps. Where Roiland's Corvo was brash and talkative, Stevens plays the character as aloof, arrogant, and condescending. In retrospect, the casting seems ingenious since the inherent self-seriousness of the vocal performance contrasts perfectly with how ludicrous Corvo is. When asked about the choice to cast Stevens as Corvo, the creators of Solar Opposites noted that hiring an impersonator could make the show feel like a cheap facsimile of itself. What the? He took my Meeseeks boxes! All that's left are these Kirkland brand Meeseeks boxes! What do you want? Damn. This was a good point, but it jars with what Rick and Morty's creative team said about their strategy for replacing Roiland. According to Rick and Morty executive producer Stephen Levy, Season 7 is using soundalikes to replace Roiland. However, by hiring soundalikes and ignoring the changeover, Rick and Morty Season 7's creators run the risk of drawing more attention to the Switch. If Rick and Morty Season 7 instead replicated Solar Opposite Season 4's approach, the show could handle the change via the shared sense of self-aware humor that both shows boast. Hey, does Corvo sound a little laugh? All right, chop chop, let's get a move on. I hate being late, it makes me feel hot and weird. You make me feel hot and weird. While production is underway on Rick and Morty Season 7, the show could still change Rick and Morty's voices further down the road or gradually over time. The series waited years to pay off its evil Morty foreshadowing and even longer to finally explain Rick's backstory. So it'd be nothing new for Rick and Morty Season 7 to seemingly ignore Justin Roiland's replacement only for the show to later address this switch, much like Solar Opposite season 4 did with its premiere.